Coach, can you hear us okay? Yes, I can, Brett. All right, uh, we'll kick it off first with Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Dave, how you doing today? How you doing, Adam? Good. Hey, um, Buffalo obviously opted to kick off to you, um, kick deep to you on the uh, their last kickoff of the game, or the, the one at the end of the fourth quarter. And just wondering from you as a longtime special team, what's the downside of a squib kick in that situation? Well, the downside what, is that you got Pringle back there. The downside is, you know, if you got a good special teams unit, you could uh, you could get ripped. You know, they could we could have got the ball out to the forty just as well uh, with a squib kick, and and then it would have been basically like the first play of our offense. You know, uh, you know, because a, a squib kick by the time you get tackled takes about four seconds, and I think the offensive play was five seconds, so it's it's comparable, but. You know, the, the chances you take, I mean, you're, 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 you're saying, hey, do you want to stop them with your special teams? Or you want to do it with your number one defense that you have. So that's the choice you got to make. But, you know, there's really no right or wrong answer to it. Um, you know, uh, you know, it depends on the situation, who's back there, what kind of returner you're, you're facing, those kind of things. And, and all those things have to be uh, calculated. You know, it's a game by game, really. Let's go next to Herbie Tiope. Go to Herbie. Coach, uh, along those same lines, Adam stole my question. Thanks, Adam. But along those same lines, what is the philosophy there? Like in those moments before the kick is done, what are you telling your team you know, to prepare them for either scenario? Yeah, that's good. That's a good question because you know if they if they squib the kick and you and, it, and it's a short kick, like a real short, we get our hands on it, uh, say at the forty yard line, or they they dribble it, or it's a thirty yard you know thirty yard kick, and we grit. We, we might want to just get on it, just down it and, and take no time off the clock. But if they kick it deep, you know, if they kick it back, you know, inside the five, you got to try to return it. You got to try to get it out, you know, because otherwise you, if you take a knee down there, they're getting exactly what they want. So you want to try to try to get something going. Now we practice that like crazy. And, and um, we, we plan, I mean, we put it this way. If somebody squibs us the ball like that, we're thinking we're going to get it to the 40 at least. I mean, that's, that's really what we're thinking, maybe even more. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, that came across their mind, you know, what, you know, what are they going to do there? And, you know, they have to, you have to try to figure it out. I mean, it's, you know, if they script to us and we got it out, they would have said, yeah, you should have kicked it deep. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that it's, it's always easy to second guess. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Coach, I've asked you questions related to this before, but I, I guess, it was a nice reminder on Sunday just how crazy good Tyree Kill is at, at returning. Um, is it almost sometimes a, like too big of an advantage to maybe not go in that direction? Just what are some of the conversations evolving when to use them, maybe when not, um, you know, when there's such, it's such a big game? Well, I mean, if it's, you know, in the situation we're in now, it's like win or go home, you know? So, uh, you know, and, and if McColl was a little banged up too, I mean, he got a little banged up. His wrist was 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 hurting him a little bit, so uh, it really was an easy decision, really, you know, to put him in there. So, and then he's so dangerous that um, you know he just puts so much pressure on the on the punt team. And the fact that we had to kick too, I mean, we made him kick too. I mean, that was that was huge. Anytime we have a situation like that, and, and you know, if we don't get a big one on the first one, uh, we want to put him back. We want to put the punt team back out there to cover again because it's so hard to cover two kicks. You know, so you have that advantage too. And then you have Tyreek back there with the whole crowd chanting Tyreek, Tyreek, Tyreek. I mean, it's a, it's a tough situation for a punt team, you know, to be in. And, um, you know, if, you know, he, we'd, we'd use them again. I mean, you know, in this situation, we, we got to win this game. So we're going we're gonna to put our best players on the field. We're going to get our best guys out there. And every down, every down can win a game for us. And, you know, I mean, you just take a look at Green Bay. I mean, how important special teams was in that game. In our game too, as well. I mean, special teams comes up big in these uh, tight games. Uh, you know, when you have to win. We'll take two more. We'll go Matt and then Sarin. Good, Matt. Hey, Coach Adam, Herbie, and Pete stole my first three questions, so you get my fourth best question. Um, that punt, <laughs> the punt, the punt that Buffalo got you down there on the one yard line. You had the the two returners out there for. Um, was that just, you know, hey, Buffalo taking advantage of a good situation or did that not work out the way you wanted it to? It didn't work out the way we wanted it to. We didn't execute the play. Uh, we had a play on and we had a miscommunication and uh, that's what happened on that. It was a, a total mistake by us, um, you know, on our on our end of it. Uh, we don't want them. We didn't want to allow that. If, if that kind of punt right there, we want to go up and fair catch it and take the ball. At the, I think it came down to like the 15. That's where we want to play offense from. 
that was wrong by us. But the good thing was is that uh, Tommy Townsend came in when we had the punt backed up and he was able to flip the field. He had a great punt there and, and got us out of the hole that we, we put ourselves in there. Well, we'll ask to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, Coach, we had Harrison uh, talking on uh, Monday, I think it was, and he was talking kind of the mindset of where he was at, right, with the 13 seconds and a lot of questions about how close he had to get it, right? They got it all the way to where it was 49, so he didn't have to do anything special. Sure. But he was talking about, you know, the different things he could do to kick a longer one. I'm, I'm just curious, uh, you know, how do you have to change the blocking scheme? Because he's talking about trying to get distance. I know you didn't have to do it in this game, but just if you ever do end of half, end of game, and you're like, okay, we're going to give him a shot, from 64 and see if he can do it. What, what all changes, what all dynamics? Yeah, that's, good, that's a good question. That, that that's a good question because, you know, you wonder about the blocking. The ball is going to come out lower, you know, so is your blocking going to change? Really, your blocking doesn't change on that. Uh, you know, you can't ask your guys to, to, you know, kind of do a run blocking deal where you're going to try to try to keep them shorter, but it doesn't happen. It's just you're going to keep continue to use the same technique, try to be solid. Uh, Bucker is the one that's going to change. I mean, he, he would add like a crow hop to his – uh, approach more like a kickoff kind of approach. Uh, he would hit the ball a little bit higher on the ball. It would come out a little bit lower, but it would come out with more power. Um, you know, I, his normal kick, uh, he hit, he hits a high ball normally. So he, he hits the ball low, you know, when he, when he makes contact and the ball gets up in the air quick. So you don't not worried about blocking it, but uh, a longer kick, he's going to have to try to drive it. So you'd have to hit, hit a little bit of higher, probably change his approach a little bit more of an attacking approach. Uh, you know, and I've seen him hit, you know, he, he's hit 63, 64s in practice. So we've seen that before uh, in that weather. I'm not sure he'd, he'd been able to go that far, but uh, you know, if that's all we had, if that's the only spot that the offense was able to get the ball to, we would have took a shot. I mean, he was getting ready to go there. Uh, you know, if, if, if we only got the ball out to the 44 or whatever, you know, we would have took a shot there. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, Legarius Seed coming up next.